It's uh, it's pretty good. I, I like the fact that every team's got an amateur and a professional, and I think those guys are the guys that everybody wants to play against. Um, and there's a lot of good guys out there, and, and it makes for I think just better cricket in, in general. Um, and it almost feels um, gives that impression of of um, a bit more professional in the setup where. As in England, you basically everybody just has an overseas player. But yeah, you you really want to do well against the overseas professional mm-hmm. and the amateur players. And I think for the amateur guys as well, it's it's a nice competition be- between them because every time they play, they want to actually outplay the other guy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and generally, I, I um I think the wickets because the weather was so good this this year, I think the wickets were pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, if you look at the, I think the guy with the most wickets. And the season is on 22 wickets, yeah. which is not a lot, I think, for this stage of a competition. But if you look at the runs, there's guys, I think there's a couple of guys that got more than 600 runs yeah. at this stage. So it just shows you that the quality of the wickets when the rain is not yeah. so much is actually pretty good. So, yeah, no, in general, it's just a, just a nice feeling and, um, yeah, just had a good time so far. We've well, all braced up for New Zealand styles wickets with the ball keeping low and stuff when you get here we have a rare burst of sunshine and it's like being back home at times it doesn't feel like you're back home because um, all of a sudden it's bouncy and, and, and pacey so you kind of have to get used to it again mm. so you almost feel out of out of place that's why the club basically gets overseas players to come and play for them so that they can handle that type of pressure mm-hmm. um, and hopefully if it's your day you know you come off and, and you did well on the rare cases where you have got out for for a low score, do you, yeah. do, you, do you feel it more because you're, you're the professional as such and everyone's expecting you to go out and make at least a 50? Yes, I, I think on myself I I used to be be like that, but then you have to look at, at things and say and take things out of perspective and realise that it's cricket um, and it all, you can't always go out and make runs, but what, what other contributions can I make on the day? You know, can I help like a youngster saying, saying to him, you know, you did well today, um, I like the way you played, um, I like, you know, anything basically. Um, even, I mean, on Saturdays we have to pull out the rope and get the square ready, you know, with the circles. Or it, you, There's always things to do and, and people to talk to and youngsters to encourage and, and see how other people do things. So, you know, that takes my mind off, off things when the things doesn't go that well. Speaking of, of the, the youngsters, and you're, you're involved with Keith Young in uh, developing the youth programme yeah. as such, how have you found that? Um, brilliant. I think um, structure-wise, is is one of the best clubs I've ever been at um, with with the youngsters and so many youngsters that's good cricket players and, and enthusiastic and eager and wants to play and and not only that but there's just so the variety of youngsters here is so is so good yeah. and I think the the encouragement and support between younger players in this club is brilliant um, and of course the under 15s won the national cup which is was absolutely brilliant. Um, and just to be there, be there that day was brilliant. You know, people ask me like, "Yo, what did you say to them? And how did you try to encourage them in the semi-final and final?" And basically, I did nothing. I just sat there and, and listened to them and see. And I just went with the flow because there was nothing I could do anymore. Mm. You know, I just basically were there and just watching them perform well because of the things they did during the season. You know, the games they played and how they are with each other and stuff. So basically, I just sat there and enjoyed my cricket for the day. Do you think the fact that they had got to that stage, they were, they didn't need any more hyping up than, than they probably needed to? They just said, right, we're there, we're, we're going to make it our yeah, day. Yeah, it just ca- kind of came naturally to them. They just, they were just, just one of those days. Everything, you know, the way they went onto the field and and before the before they walked onto the field, how they had a huddle in the changing room and everybody put their hands on each other and shouted Pollock, yes and. <laughs> You know, so it was just a good vibe, and 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 I think they didn't feel any pressure when they went into that final. They just they just went with that flow of things, and uh, it basically went well for them. It's, do you, of course, you'd be hoping they can transfer that into adulthood because yeah. <laughs> once you get yeah, your twenties, yeah. you start thinking about, oh, what if I do this? What if I do yeah. that? Or oh, what if I mess this up? Whereas at that age, you're yeah. kind of like fearless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, just. By the years they stay here and get older, that that gradually they'll learn these things, and when they do come to that age, then you know they will be nice and relaxed when they play, nice and focused, but at the same time relaxed and be able to handle, you know, that type of 
of pressure when you're a bit older when you start thinking well this is the consequences I think that's the main thing people start thinking about the consequences too much and I think if they can just block that out and think well you know we're here for the club and we're here for each other and we're just here to enjoy everybody's welcome and everybody accepts everybody's ability mm-hmm. and I think that's the main thing and I think if you can have that attitude from under seven to right up to the first team I think I think that's one of the principles that makes a good club so and that in that way, I think Pollock is very healthy. Um, I take I take it turnout's pretty good. Um, to to practices, yeah, very good. Um, sometimes too good. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just think, oh, can I get some assistance here, please? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's always good. Um, where the where the permitting, and um, we never have a problem with people turning up or anything like that. So no, it's always good. Yeah. Because uh, one local politician has uh, tabled a motion in the Scottish Parliament criticising the media coverage of the Ashes series yeah. and saying that no one in Scotland is interested in cricket. Yeah. And yet, well, from what you've just said, that's a bit of a nonsense as far as Paul is concerned. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I think there's, there's, um, it's a different culture over here when it comes to cricket. Um, people are very interested in cricket, but not always involved in cricket. Um, but the people that are involved and do play cricket loves it. And it's almost like I get a feeling they don't want to miss. If if you want, if you're in a club and and you you committed yourself to that first session or first game, then you know it's going to take a lot for that person not to come back. Yeah. And I like that. You know, it's I think it's um, it's very good for cricket in general, and hopefully that can grow the game in in, in the country. If you talk about stats, I would know nothing about it, like <laughs> the growth of the game or how many people play it. But what I've seen in in the the primary schools I've coached and, and just the enthusiasm there is for the game is pretty good. Yeah. What's the setup regarding uh, youth development in South Africa? Um, it's totally different because youth don't really play club cricket back home. It's more school orientated, mm-hmm. um, which is pretty good because sport in schools in South Africa I think is pretty solid. You know, um, it's well looked after. You have your sports management um, at every school and. Um, uh, almost all teachers have after schools activities with kids um, it's just a major thing our, we're a lot different, our schools end about two, uh, two hours earlier in the afternoon than in the UK so basically the whole afternoon is just sport oh, yeah. so I uh, know it's very healthy I think, it's just that the only difference is that kids don't really belong to a club um, because they don't need to because the school offers basically everything you need South Africa Cricket also con- contests with two other major sports, uh, rug- rugby yeah. and, 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 fo- and, and football, football yeah. uh, as well. Yeah. We here have the same sort of problem, yeah. well, not sort of problem, but situation with football is king, yeah. and then people think of rugby being the next one yeah. as such. What, what could Scottish cricket do to, okay, no one's going to surpass football, but yeah. at least get on a level playing field in terms of playing numbers and interests with regards to rugby? Yeah, it's an odd one because it's, I mean, it's centuries basically, isn't it? Mm. I think just what you have, make the best of what you have. I think, in, you know, get the right guys to to manage the the structure of Scotland cricket, um, and which I think you guys have. Um, and, you know, and just make people realise well, what you have is a good thing. And it's, um, cricket is a privilege to have as a, even a third or fourth sport in your country. Um, um, so, you know, don't expect to override other sports. Just make whatever you have, just take that and just develop it as much as you possibly can. Because the effort you're going to put in, at the end of the day, you're going to get out. So, just small steps and hopefully that can... And, you know, and maybe these things can filter through and at the end of the day make the national side a better side. Mm. Oh. Moving back, back to y- yourself and Pollock and... Uh, six weeks off the season left some people might look at the table think Pollock have blown the chance of promotion yes. just, yeah. I mean admittedly you're going to have to go some to sneak in if results go your way but it's not yeah. beyond the realms of possibility surely no it's, it's probably it's it's probably unlikely okay to be honest saying that we're not going to we're not going to give up or anything and, and we're still going to push for it and hopefully things will, will click and and believe that everything we spoke about the last couple of months and, and the work we put in can, can turn around for us. But I think for now we just want to focus on every game.